Taking steps to help those fighting arthritis, we're talking about the annual Walk to Cure Arthritis this coming weekend. Wendy Lopez is here along with her daughters, Amelia and Maya, who have juvenile arthritis. Ladies, welcome. You know, arthritis is something that affects many Americans, um, 50 million Americans, but also affects 300,000 children. It's not a disease, um, Mom, for the first question for you, that we associate with children. No, not at all. Not at all. It's actually quite shocking. People, when we first let them know or anything, they, they're in disbelief mm -hmm. or they're, I mean, basically we've been told, no, that's not it or, you know, a lot of things like that. But nobody ever associates arthritis with children. Now, let me ask you, Maya, when did you first notice maybe something wasn't right, you weren't feeling well, and, and what did you feel? When I was around eight and nine, my fingers started to get crooked and on the nod, on the joints, I started to get Little huge nodules. bumps oh, on I the side, yeah, huh? the nodules. And my mom, my sister was already diagnosed, mm -hmm. so my mom took photos of my fingers and showed them to my sister's doctor and she knew something was wrong. Now, mom, you were telling me that uh, in your family, some autoimmune issues have come up. Did you know right away, oh my goodness, here we go? No. Well, when she first got diagnosed, our eldest, uh, mm -hmm. Emilia, n no, not at all. We never, even us, we were naive at the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, children could get this. Um, she was born with a hand deformity, and we took her to her orthopedic doctor, and mm -hmm. um, as soon as she saw her hands, she was like, oh, it's arthritis, and we're like, we didn't, we were in right. disbelief. Mm -hmm. And no, sure enough, within a month later, we took her to the rheumatologist, and she was diagnosed with Poly JIA. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was even shocking for us at first. So, Amelia, you were the first in the family to yeah. get the juvenile arthritis. How did it affect you in school and in play and just being a kid? I mean, I didn't really know. I had it for a while, mm -hmm. but it was mostly just pain. And then when I went to the orthopedic, they gave me hand braces, and that kind of set me aside from everyone else because I had to deal with all this pain that was so new to me. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of distanced myself from a lot of activities because it was hard handling all this new pain that I had never handled before. And it's a pain that's constant, right? It just doesn't Chronic. go away. It's, it's a discomfort, right? It's 24-7. 24-7. So how do you handle it now, the pain and just dealing with what you, you go through? Uh, you know, believe it or not, the, it's kind of, kind of second nature now to them. Mm -hmm. It's, they just learn to it live is. with it. My pain tolerance is like really high mm -hmm. too, so. Yeah, to most people, the pain that we go through every day is extreme for them. For us, it's normal now. It's yeah. normal. Now, are there pills, are there creams, are there things that you can take to help a little bit? I mean, we're, um, the girls take an infusion, which is once a month, they're on Actemra, and then they take a weekly injections, metrotexate. One of mm -hmm. them is to prevent the disease from, um, basically continuing in the other ones to slow down their immune system because their immune system is what's overactive for them. But the medications like metrotexate, you know, and all that, that helps mm -hmm. with the pain that does help with pain. Now we're looking at some video from past walks to cure arthritis. Yes. Uh, you were telling me it's gotten so big, it's now on both coasts of the United States. So you meet other families dealing with the same thing you guys are doing. Yes, right? yes, definitely. We've met a lot of families and honestly, it's kind of a relief because you know, we don't have to explain ourselves to them and we don't mm -hmm. have to really, they know exactly what we're going through, what, you know, and there's no explaining it. And it's kind of like they've become our family. Mm -hmm. You know, the Arthritis Foundation is amazing for doing so many events with the walks, with, you know, JA days and so many other things and so much support from the Arth Foundation. It's, That's they're great. just an amazing foundation for us. And I mean, honestly, it's great. And, and one last, last quick question for Maya and Amelia real quick. For students, young people who, who may be seeing your hands a little different or you can't do certain things, what would you like them to know, like if somebody would see someone with juvenile arthritis? I mean, not many people like my age. I know when I mm -hmm. said I had it, nobody really believed I had arthritis because mm -hmm. it's such a strange thing. But it is talking about it helps because arthritis isn't something that's normalized with kids. Right. So just talking about it, making people aware. Thank you so much, yeah, all three you. of you. For more information about the Walk to Cure Arthritis, it's this coming Sunday. Just go to kcal9.com, click Scene on TV. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.